My name is Justin Brantley and I am a postdoc in the carding lab at the University of Pennsylvania. Today I will be presenting on a project to be called Baseball, Bayesian Integration in Professional Baseball. In the game of baseball, the pitcher aims to throw the ball in a way that entices the batter to swing but does not result in a hit. Pitchers intentionally throw both balls and strikes and use varying grip types to manipulate the spin, velocity, and the final position of the ball as a way to introduce uncertainty. Pitchers aim to minimize the amount of information they relay to the batter, such as by replicating their release point for all pitches as closely as possible. Each pitch then travels with its own distinct movement pattern before ultimately landing somewhere in or around the strike zone. Each of these can only be noisily observed by the batter. However, despite all of these uncertainties, batters are still able to achieve hits. So the question remains, how do baseball batters estimate the pitched ball's trajectory if all they have is noisy prior information and noisy sensory information from watching the pitched ball? More generally, how do humans make accurate and repeatable movements in the presence of multiple sources of uncertainty? Well, by using Bayes' rule, of course. Bayes' rule has been used extensively in the study of motor control and provides us with a framework for formalizing the problem of how we integrate varying sources of uncertainty with our prior knowledge about the world. However, the question remains, does Bayesian behavior matter for real-world movements? Here, we propose that batters optimally combine prior information about the pitch with observations during each at bat to achieve hits, and that this behavior can be explained using a Bayesian framework. So to address this, we ask, what do batters do to get more hits? Recently, many batters have shifted their mechanics to focus on the launch angle of the ball off of the bat, thus resulting in a high chance of getting a hit either within the park or as a home run. So we assume that batters aim to contact the ball at the point on the ball that maximizes the probability of a home run. In this study, we used publicly available data from Major League Baseball. We retrieved every pitch thrown during the regular and postseason games from 2015 to 2021, resulting in 4.6 million pitches. We cleaned the data, then retained pitches where the bat and the ball made contact, resulting in 1.25 million pitches for analysis. We assume a simple bat-ball contact model based on geometry alone and compute an error on the contact based on the actual launch angle and the optimal launch angle. In laboratory studies, the observed error or deviation can be related back to the true shift imposed by the experimenters. In this real-world data set, we cannot explicitly define the latent prior. Thus, for this study, we assume the vertical position of the thrown pitch within the strike zone to represent the true shift since this encompasses uncertainty in the pitch type, location, and the deviations imposed by the velocity and the spin for each pitch type. Interestingly, our results suggest that the behavior observed in the baseball data is consistent with laboratory experiments, and it implies that batters combine prior information with noisy observations to manage pitch uncertainty. Furthermore, when we break this down by pitch type, we find that the slope varies by pitch type, implying that each is accompanied by its own level of uncertainty. This is very interesting, but to see the robustness of this effect, we would like to study examples in which the reliance on the observed data or the prior can be manipulated. So first, we consider pitch types with strong priors but high movement uncertainty. The knuckleball is a relatively rare pitch that is thrown in a specific way to minimize spin on the ball. While few pitchers throw a knuckleball, those that do throw it as their primary pitch, as shown in this distribution. However, the low spin on the knuckleball causes the flight to have erratic movements, creating significant uncertainty in the final location of the ball. As you can see here, the flight path of the ball has a slight jitter in its location over time. Because of the highly erratic behavior of the pitch, a very similarly thrown knuckleball, in this case by the same pitcher, can have wildly different behavior. We find that the high uncertainty in the knuckleball results in a slope significantly closer to zero, implying a much higher reliance on observed data despite the strong prior for the pitch type and the velocity of that pitch. As another example, we can consider pitches with weak priors but low movement uncertainty. 
For this, we consider the EFIS, which is a highly uncommon pitch that is thrown with a very slow velocity and an arcing pattern. For the few pitchers that use this pitch, it is usually only a small part of a much larger repertoire. For example, for this pitcher, the EFIS can be seen here. Similar to the knuckleball, we observe a slope significantly smaller and closer to zero than other pitch types. Again, this implies that in the presence of the weak prior and low movement uncertainty, batters rely on the observation of the pitch. Lastly, we consider the scenario of pitch tipping, in which external cues impact the behavior of the batters. The idea of tipping is that pitchers unintentionally display information to the batters about what type of pitch is coming. For the specific incident shown here, when the glove was set high, the oncoming pitch was a fastball, and when the glove was low, the pitch was a curveball. These cues are subtle, yet easily recognized by professional batters. Indeed, we found that for all at bats during this game where tipping occurred, batters relied significantly more on the prior than during all other games for this pitcher. So in summary, we asked whether or not professional baseball batters implicitly use a Bayesian approach when hitting a pitch baseball, and our results suggest that batters rely on prior knowledge and observed information when making predictions for batting in a way that is consistent with Bayesian statistics. The varying slope by pitch type indicates that pitches are perceived as having varying levels of uncertainty and that batters cannot simply learn a direct map for all pitches. Furthermore, varying levels of uncertainty in the pitch result in varied reliance on the prior and the observations. We believe that this is exciting evidence of Bayesian behavior in a real-world movement task. Thank you, and look out for a preprint soon. I've left my contact information below in case anyone would like to follow up.